You can use VS Code's problems view to copy additional information about the errors that you see in the editor. Here, for example, I have a linter error that's displaying in the editor. If I click in the problems view, and I'm going to open that up just by clicking on this problems entry down here in the status bar, you can see the error message displayed here in a little bit more detail. And I can even do things like fix the error over here by clicking on the light bulb, for example. If I then right click on this entry, I see two options here. So I can say copy or copy message. So what copy message does is copy just the display text here. So I have now copied that. If I go to a new file, you can see that it's copied just the um, message that was displayed in the editor before. Now, what copy does is actually copy additional information that might be helpful to help you have you, um, it can help you track down who is causing this error. And if you're reporting an issue, for example, you can use this. So now I've selected copy. And you can see that it is this JSON formatted information here that is displaying where this error came from. So in this case, it was ESLint, the error code itself. So we see that this error code is something that ESLint is understanding. And it's a custom uh, linter rule that we've created here along with additional metadata about where the error started and ended. So this can be useful on its own for tracking down, like this error came from ESLint, for example, if you're confused about that. Or it can also be useful if you're trying to diagnose why a problem is not appearing correctly and need to share some additional information with an extension author. So that is the copy methods in the problems view.